All right, in this video, I'm going to go over uh, transformations on polynomials. Um, I already have other videos that talk about transformations, so if you're still not fresh on how they work, uh, maybe go back and look at some of those videos for additional help. So before I jump into this problem, it might be good just a quick review on the transformation. So we have a times f of x minus h plus k. So it might be a good idea to go over what transformations are there. So we primarily work with A, H, and K. So as a quick reminder, A is going to deal with your vertical stretch and shrink, as well as our reflections over uh, the x-axis. So reflections over x-axis. Um, H, which is on the inside here, and remember it's going to be kind of the liar there, it's always the opposite, so if you see plus 7, it's actually going to move negative 7. Uh, if you see a minus 7, it moves plus 7. So that's going to be your slide left and right. We'll deal with that shortly. And then we have K, which is your vertical slide or translation slide up down. So vertical stretch shrink, slide left, right, slide up, down, and don't forget the uh, reflection part. So in our first example, we're given the function f of x equals x minus 2 cubed plus 2. So we're going to identify the transformations that derive from the parent function. So the parent function here would have been just x cubed. So we have to come up with what new pieces happened. Well, the first thing I'm going to look at is this minus 2, which is on the inside. So what I look at is, since it's on the inside, I'm thinking it's going to be h. So I need to know already that, hey, this is going to be a slide left or right. So if I have a minus 2 there, remember that the inside is kind of deceiving. It's lying to you. So even though it's minus 2, it makes you want to think, hey, it's going to slide to the left 2. It's actually the opposite. So it's going to slide towards the positive end. So that's going to slide right 2. Uh, you might see translate as a, another way of saying slide. So slide right two. And then this number on the back, that's something new that's not in our parent function. This plus two outside the parentheses at the back. Well, k is also outside the parentheses in the back, and that's slide up down. So if I have a plus two there, that means we're going to slide up two. So the transformations that took place here is we, the parent function, the graph, is going to slide right to and slide up to. So that's just identifying the transformations. Uh, part two of this problem, we're going to use the above polynomial function, so this one up here, and we're going to perform the transformation of a vertical stretch by a factor of two, then a translation down three. So a lot of this is all about setup and not being lazy here. So if I want to do a vertical stretch by a factor of two, that is a. So in place of a, I'm going to put 2, since we want a vertical stretch by 2. So I'm going to have 2 times f of x. Notice how I'm not putting h or k because, well, we're not dealing with h and k yet. We're just worrying about a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. So 2 times f of x. So what I'm going to do is to simplify this, I'm going to plug in everything I know about f of x, which is all of this up here. I'm going to write that down in place and substitute in for f of x. So that's going to look like 2 times, put up big old parentheses here, x minus 2 cubed plus 2. So the only thing left to do to simplify this is distribute this 2 in. So this 2 can come to this first piece here, so we're going to have it 2 times x minus 2 cubed. Uh, this 2 is not going to multiply in because that exponent there prevents us from doing that. So that 2 is going to stay at the outside. But this 2 can multiply by this constant plus 2 on the back. So 2 times 2 is 4. So this now becomes my new f of x function. So f of x is now 2 times x minus 2 cubed plus 4. Second thing we need to do is we need to do a translation down 3. So if I want to translate, that's another name for slide. So slide down 3, that deals with k. So since I want to go down 3, to replace k, I'm going to have f of x minus 
3. Only thing left to do is I'm going to take f of x. I need to substitute in here. So f of x is all this. I'm going to take all of that substitute in for the f of x here. So I'm going to have 2 times x minus 2 cubed plus 4. And then I have that minus 3 on the back end. Only thing left to do is simplify there. Um, what we have is we have a 4 minus 3. That's something that can be, we can combine like terms there. So our answer is going to be 2 x minus 2 cubed, 4 minus 3 is plus 1. So this would be our new function with the transformation of a vertical stretch by 2 and a translation down 3 from our original. So that was a quick polynomial transformations overview. Um, if you still have questions on transformations, I strongly suggest looking at the other transformation videos.